Good morning! I do always do this. I don't check the background of what I'm filming. I literally just place you down, hit record, and I'm like, hello, good morning. Also, not sure where this burst of energy has come from because I was so tired when I got up an hour ago. And now I'm like, let's go. Cal is dying. Morning. It's actually completely my fault why Cal is so tired. Also, I'm just making some breakfast. I'm making the same breakfast bowl that I made in my That Girl Morning Routine video. But this is why it is my fault. <laughs> Not the blueberries. Oh my god. Good morning. Thank god. All of these. Oh, I just stood in one as well. And I have white socks on. What is happening? <laughs> Thank god this many didn't go on the ground. Because I had to buy the organic ones this week. Because they were out of stock of just the normal blueberries. And they were $7 or $6.20 or something. Which is like basically a dollar her blueberry. It's not, but you know what I mean. Anyway, okay. So last night I went to bed and I slept with my Apple Watch. I don't usually sleep with my Apple Watch. I usually charge it overnight. And I sleep with my phone in the lounge room so that when my alarm goes off in the morning, I have to get up out of bed, go to the lounge room, turn the alarm off, and then theoretically I will stay up because I've gotten up to turn my alarm off. Doesn't always happen. I do sometimes crawl back to bed, but I've been so good lately. I've been getting up at 6 a.m. So I had my alarm set for 6 a.m. this morning. And when my alarm went off, I snoozed it from my Apple Watch because you can snooze from your Apple Watch Which is also why I don't wear my Apple Watch to bed. So what did I do this morning? Snoozed it continuously until 7 a.m. And when Cal got up before he was like, why did you do this? You kept me awake for the whole hour because your phone kept going off. I don't know why I did it either Well, I do I clearly wanted more sleep, but now I'm running an hour behind on the day But it's fine. You know, we'll make up time everything happens for a reason. Maybe I needed that extra hour also, if you've seen the that girl morning routine, you know how I made the breakfast really cute and aesthetic in that video I'm not doing that anymore. I'm just putting all the ingredients in and mixing it around. There's no time for aesthetics Not last night, but the night before I had a dream that Maddie Healy was in love with me <laughs> drama still kind of looks cute past nine. I am about to get started with my work day. I actually have so many things to get done today. This week has been such a busy week. For context, it is Wednesday, January 10th. The reason this week is so busy is because Cal and I are going to Hong Kong and Taiwan at the end of this month. So I'm trying to get ahead on a lot of my work so that while we're away, we're gone for like three and a bit weeks, I can keep posting content and not have to work while we're away. But today I have some client work to do. I have revisions to do for one of my clients. That should only take an hour or so, so I'm gonna do that first. Then I have another client that I'm editing for, that should take a few hours. And then I have my own stuff to edit, which again will probably take a few hours. All these things that'll just take a few hours all add up to end up being over a whole day's work, you know what I mean? I also have emails to reply to. Harriet and I are doing a photo shoot content day tomorrow, so I need to plan for that. There's just a bunch of little things to do. So, welcome to my work day today. Yesterday I worked 7.30 to 5.30, so it's kind of nice to be starting a little bit later today, but I have my matcha, I have my to-do list. Let's get this spread. I'm gonna start with my client revisions. Let's get that done and out of the way. Guys, I 
just went to talk to you and I knocked my glasses and now I look like this. What a look. But it is... Oh my gosh, it's 11.11. How cute. I just finished the revisions for my first client. I'm currently exporting the video and then I'll upload it and send it to them. I feel so good now that this is done. Actually, I'm going to take it off my to-do list while I'm talking to you. Also, I've been using my Notion that I set up. I don't think I set it up in a vlog, but I showed it to you in my 2024 reset. It has been so good. I was nervous that after I set it up, I wouldn't actually use it because I've been using my Apple Notes for so long. And I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I find it so hard to actually change and use the new thing that I set up. I really hope I'm not alone on that, but this has been so helpful. It is so much better. All the people who told me, once you get Notion, you'll never go back. It's so much better than Apple Notes. Like if you're addicted to using your Apple Notes, upgrade to Notion, it'll change your life. They were right. And now I am one of those people. Some of you have DM'd me and asked me for my template. I'm still getting it all sorted. I've only had this for about two weeks now. So give me a little bit of time and then I will give you my template because it's been so helpful. Also, I don't know if you can hear, but it sounds like my computer is about to just send up into orbit. It's kind of concerning, but I'm going to get a snack and then tackle some emails. I don't know about you, but I get the worst email anxiety. So I always put off my emails, but when I do them, I feel so much better. And while I was editing just then, I felt kind of stressed because I knew in the back of my head I had emails that I needed to reply to. I usually try and do them first thing in the morning, but I jumped straight into this because this was due first. So let's get a snack and let's tackle these emails. But look at us go, such a productive day. Already can tick this off the list. Hey guys, it is 20 past four. I'm about to go to the gym. I do not look... Oh, I shouldn't say things like that. I shouldn't be like, I don't look my best. But like, should I put in more effort when I'm working at home? Especially when I'm vlogging because like, it kind of looks like I just rolled out of bed. Anyway, guys, I got the craziest opportunity presented to me this afternoon. I'm gonna be that annoying influencer YouTuber who's like, oh my God, I can't tell you, but I don't actually know if I can tell you and I don't want to ruin the opportunity by just blasting it. But something that I have been manifesting, I wasn't even manifesting it this way, but something that I have been manifesting, something that's on my vision board has come true. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Anyway. I will tell you the second I know that I'm allowed to tell you. I promise, I promise, I promise. But let's go to the gym. Today I'm doing 5Ks on the cross trainer. I honestly love cardio days because it means I just get to watch YouTube. And it feels like I'm just hanging out with friends, but I'm also getting fit. It's like a win-win. So let's go. and abs weight workout yesterday like just one at home and I went like this when I got out of the shower even doing it now I'm like oh my gosh I swear you're never sore right after you do it but 24 hours after it starts to kick in because when we finished the workout the workout was so hard because I haven't really been doing any weights workouts I'm trying to get back into them but when I was doing the workout I was like this is hard but at the end and when I woke up today I was like oh my arms aren't even that sore Anyway, I'm about to do my fake tan. I've actually been trying to cut back how much I use my fake tan. Like in my last video, my Sunday reset, I wasn't wearing any fake tan. I went out and bought new makeup that matches my actual skin tone. I just want to be better at being confident in my natural skin tone and not being reliant on fake tan. Especially when we go traveling. We're going to Hong Kong and Taiwan for three and a bit weeks. And we have a pretty jammed packed schedule, especially when we're in Taiwan. I just don't want to be wasting my time doing my tan. I don't think I'll have time to do my tan. And you'll know if you do your fake tan weekly, it kind of takes over your life. All of your plans revolve around your tan. And I just don't want that all the time. I want to be confident in my own skin. I started this journey when I dyed my hair dark and I didn't do my fake tan for, I don't even know how long it was, maybe a month or so, probably even longer. And I really liked it. So I've been trying to be better at not doing my fake tan, but like I told you, 
you earlier, Harriet and I are doing a photo shoot content day tomorrow. And as much as I would love to not wear fake tan and be confident in my own skin and being pale for my photo shoot, I just don't think I'm there yet. And I can just see myself trying to take these photos, not liking them, getting frustrated, feeling like I'm wasting Harriet's time, feeling like I'm wasting my own time. Also, it's summer, so I want to have a little bit of tan. It's going to be 25 degrees tomorrow. Maybe I'm just making up excuses, but I'm going to do my tan right now. I'm going to use the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in Medium. I've actually never used their medium products before. I usually use Dark or Ultra Dark. So hopefully this gives me a nice shade. This is a good step. For giving up fake tan especially for these kind of moments i don't want to be doing my fake tan for every single day but when i have an event or when it's summer those kind of things i don't mind doing it i don't want to like completely delete it out of my life but i think using medium is a good step because it's closer to my skin tone than dark you know what i mean so let's give this a go Good morning guys, it is Thursday morning. I am about to get ready. I'm moving my keyboard out of the way because I wanna do my makeup and hair at this desk. I always do it here, you've seen me do it a billion times, but I always forget to move my Apple mouse and keyboard and then they get covered in hairspray residue, little bits of makeup. I'm trying to be a cleaner and more organized person in 2024. So that's why I was holding them, but I'm about to start getting ready. It is 9 a.m. I told you guys yesterday that Harriet and I are having a little content day today. So that is why I'm about to do my hair and makeup. I have these eye patches on my eyes because guys, I had the most crazy nightmares last night. I never have nightmares. It's very rare for me to have a bad dream. But last night I had this dream about kids being abducted and I was in the dream as well. Like I had consequences from it. I also had another dream about a plane crashing, which is definitely my fault. Well, not my fault fault but I know why I had that one it's because I was watching something about the Alaskan Airlines flight last night on TikTok and typically what I consume before bed this was like four hours before bed though but what I consume later in the day I'm usually going to dream about that's kind of like how it works but I did not watch anything about kids being abducted and it's so weird because I've had this dream before in my grandparents house my grandparents are there we're trying to save these kids that are about to be abducted it's so weird if any of you guys know anything about dreams please let me know unless it's really, really bad. And then don't tell me. I'd rather just live in delusion and denial. Anyway, I'm just hoping these eye patches can help with the bags under my eyes because they are fully stocked. You know your shopping bags when you don't pack enough and you go to the supermarket and do a big shop and they're overflowing, busting at the seams. That's what my under eye bags look like right now. So hopefully I can get them under control because we don't need that. Photographed for life. Okay guys, these are all the clothes that I'm packing with me. I've come to the realization that I could literally throw out every single thing in my cupboard except for these items and be completely fine. So maybe we will do a closet clean out, maybe after Taiwan, I feel like I really don't have time because looking at these pieces together, I mean like I wouldn't throw out everything else in my cupboard, you know, but I could definitely downsize more. So let me know if you'd be down to see a closet clean out, but I'm going to get dressed. Harriet is at a nail appointment right now. So so she's gonna Uber here once she's done and then we're gonna Uber to her place in Fitzroy and then we're going to do our little photo shoot, take our photos and then we're also going to do an editing session after that. So I need to pack my laptop. I need to pack like a full bag. So I have my carry-on backpack. Hopefully I can fit everything in here. Would it be dramatic to take a suitcase? I think it would be dramatic. Oh my God, guys, I got a new suitcase. It's so cute. Wait, it's here, I can show you. Look how stunning she is. There's also two more inside, the exact same color but this smaller. These were only $200 on Temple and Webster. I'll link them below because they're so cute. Hello. Good 
Good morning, guys. It is Friday morning. Also, does anybody else think that this product, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, is overrated? I got it for my birthday, and when I put it on my lips, it feels absolutely amazing. My lips look so glossy, and it feels really nice. It tastes really nice. But five minutes after I put it on, my lips are so dry again. But I've heard from other people that it works really well. But for me, it does not work well. But it's cute, and it's aesthetically pleasing, so I just keep it on my desk. I'm gonna finish it because I have it and it tastes good and it looks good temporarily But I think I'm just gonna be a blistex and Vaseline girly for life. Anyway, good morning. How are you? It is 11:36 right now. I've just been working on my video that is going to go up on Monday I don't know if I've officially announced this by the time this video is up, but I have a new posting schedule for YouTube I'm going to be posting every Monday evening at 6 p.m. I used to post on Sundays But I really want to make Sundays my social media Media free day so I can't really be posting my YouTube video on a Sunday and I feel like Monday is fun right it's a new start to the week we get a new video so I'm just finishing up my video now that's going to go up on Monday I'm hoping I can finish this in the next 20 minutes it's mostly done because after this I really need to jump into my clients content I think that will only take me about two to three hours to edit but Cal and I are going to the tennis tonight with my friend Shiraz I'm so excited I've never been to the tennis before never been to the Australian Open so when my friend and Shiraz messaged me and was like, do you want to go? It's only $30. I was like, sign me the f up. I am so there. So we're meeting him at the tram stop at 5 p.m. So I'm thinking, here's my plan. Hopefully I can stick with it. I also don't know if I'm in focus. I'm having so much trouble with my camera lately. I'll finish this video by 12. Then I'll go to the gym, get my 5k cross trainer situation done. Come back, shower, edit for my client until about 3.30, 4 at the latest, get ready, and then meet Shiraz at the tram stop. No lunch break, no procrastinating. I think we can do it. It. I think we can do it, but we need to go back to work right now. Okay guys, I am back from the gym. I have not been this sweaty from a 5k on the cross trainer in so long because I didn't realize that it is 32 degrees outside today and I went into the gym. We have an aircon in the gym, but when I got in there, no one was in there, but the two doors that open to the balcony in the gym or the like outdoor area were wide open. So all of the heat was coming in and they don't even have the aircon on that low anyway. So all this hot air was coming in. So I immediately closed the doors. There's literally a sign on the door that says, please keep these doors closed. I don't know why people don't follow it, but it's fine. I'm not gonna let it ruin my day, but I immediately closed the doors, but because they'd been open, I guess, for a while and all the hot air had already come in, the aircon could not fix the problem. And as I was going, I was like, I am literally dripping in sweat but I'm so glad that I got that done. I really didn't think I was gonna have enough time, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna do it, and now I feel really good. But I need to have a shower right now because I think I look greasy and sweaty just through the camera, which is honestly not the vibes. <laughs> Okay guys, it is 10 to 5. The sun is really coming across right now, but I just finished getting ready. We have to leave here in about 10 minutes, but Ariana's new song has dropped and I have not listened to it yet. So I figured we could listen to it together. I am so excited. I love Ariana Grande, but I honestly have zero expectations. Like I have no idea what this is going to sound like. Guys, are you ready? I have to make sure this is connected to the speaker. Otherwise it's going to be very underwhelming if it just comes out of my phone. Here we go. What? This is a bot. Holy, <laughs> she's back. So ready for this sprinkler. Oh, this is so nice. <laughs> this is so 
so dramatic. I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs>